Hi, my name is Milena Naranjo. And I'm Leah Fritz. And today we'll be focusing on the piece Tete Tete Tete, housed in the National League Gun Gallery in London. Tete 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 is a part of a series of six paintings referred to as Marriage a la Mode that depict an arranged marriage between the son of a rich merchant and the daughter of an impoverished earl. Our piece was made by engraver and painter William Hogarth out of oil and canvas in the early 18th century. During this time period, the Rococo style of art, design, and decoration originated and flourished in France and is represented in the tete-a-tete, -tete, characterized by intricate ornamentation, pastel colors, curvilinear forms, and lightheartedness. In particular, the scenes are set in opulent Rococo interiors and the characters are dressed in fashionable Rococo costumes that resemble French styles. Additionally, Hogarth's use of light, shadow, and color echoes the techniques employed by French Rococo paintings. Each painting throughout Hogarth's Marriage à la Mode series depicts different scenes in the story of infidelity in aristocratic marriages, showing the young couple and their family and acquaintances at their worst, engaging in affairs, drinking, gambling, and numerous other vices. The tête à tête depicts a morning after what seems to be the night of infidelity. In this painting, there are signs that the marriage has already begun to break down. The husband and wife appear uninterested in one another, amidst evidence of their separate dalliances the previous night. A small dog finds a lady's cap in the husband's coat pocket, indicating his adultery, along with the mark of civilis dotted on his neck. A broken sword at his feet shows that he has been in a fight. The posture of the wife also in indicates unfaithfulness. As Hogarth once noted, a lock of hair falling thus across the temples has an effect too alluring to be strictly decent, as is very well known to the loose and lowest class of women. The disarray of the house and the servant holding a stack of unpaid bills shows that the affairs of the household are a mess. The chaotic representation of aristocratic marriages relates to the AP theme of social commentary, considering it serves as a moral lesson and a critique of the 18th century society. Social commentary specifically seeks to critic an aspect of society. It can comment on political, religious, cultural, or other important aspects of society. Society has never been perfect, and because of that, social commentaries have existed throughout history. Hogarth uses the series as a social commentary on the exploits and squalid greed of the aristocracy of the aristocracy and illustrates the, disast the disastrous consequences of marrying for money rather than love, common within the 18th century. Overall, this piece is a clear and direct representation of social commentary and it's the reason we believe it is included in our required works. Mm -hmm.